For the following exercises, use graphs of f of x, which is shown in figure 6, g of x, which is shown in figure 7, and h of x, which is shown in figure 8, to evaluate the following expressions. Okay, there are four expressions here, these guys at the bottom. We got to get down to the answer to these by using these graphs. Okay, so first little tip here that f of x is just a fancy way of saying y. So normally we know that the vertical line is the y-axis, right? So I'm just going to say that this is just the same as saying y. Okay. Now, in order to uh, evaluate the expressions, we got tips and tricks down here to help you guys. It's super simple. The first thing that we're going to do with these composite functions is we need to find out where the x value was, which is going to be the number, is on the inner function of the graph. So let's work with the first one. We have g of f of 1. Which one is the inner function? It's the one that's inside the most parentheses. So there's only two functions here, g of f. f is more closer into the parentheses, so that's the inner function. So we need to be doing f of 1 first. And that's what I said when we were doing a number. The number is going to be the x value. So here, this 1 is telling me the x value for where I got to look. The letter here is telling me what graph I got to look at. We're looking at the f function graph, so that's this one. So where is where x equals 1? Oh, x equals 1 is right here. But I have to go up to where it touches the graph boop, right? And now that's what the second part's all about. You got to figure out what the corresponding y value is. If it hits the graph here, and let me just put this in a different color. If it hits the graph here, what is the y value? Oh, it's just one. So that's the first piece of the puzzle. Now we got to go to the outer function. The outer function was the g function. So g, but now what number am I going to use? It's the answer to what you had before. That's why we had to find the answer. Whatever this is, you plug it in for the next function. And that's number three. Use that new value that you found for the x value for the outer function and figure out what the y is. So now, since this is in parentheses, this is the new x, and we're going to g land. We're going to the g function, which is... Uh, this one. Okay, x of 1 right here, but you got to go all the way up to where it hits the graph. So that's this, and what's the corresponding y value? Oh, it's 1. So for this one, why am I saying so 1 all the time? But for this one example, we have 1s all over the place. 1, 1, 1, and 1. But the answer, the only one that we care about is the last 1. No pun intended? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's the answer. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Inner function, f of 2. This is the x value. f graph, right here. 2 on the x. Got to go all the way up to where it hits the graph, which it looks right here. What's the corresponding y value? Oh, it's 4. Okay, that's the first part. Now I go to the outer function. The outer function was g, but what is going to be inside? Oh, it's the answer to what it was before. So now if I just erase this because we still got two more examples to do. g of 4, your new x value is the 4. g world is over here, this graph. 4 for the x, got to go all the way up, got to hit the graph, boom, right here. What's the corresponding y value? Oh, it's 2. So this answer is 2. Halfway there, guys. Inner function, g of 4. This is the x value, and we're going on the g graph. So on the g graph, x is 4. Okay, got to go all the way up. Right here it hits, and what's the corresponding y value? 2. So the first part is 2. 
Now we go to the outer function. The outer function was f. f of, insert the answer, and now this is your new x value. So let me just erase this. We now have to be on the f graph. x is 2. Got to go all the way up. Looks like it's going to hit right here. And what's the corresponding y value? 4. There you go. And that's the answer here. Last one. I know you guys can do it. Inside function, g of 1. This is the x function. So g is over here. 1 is right here. Got to go all the way up. Got to hit the graph. Corresponding y is 1. Okay, so that's the answer to the first part. And now, outer function was f. The answer that you just got is now the new x value. So now, if this is the new x, f is over here. We have x of 1 right here, but you got to go where it hits the graph. Boom. And 1. So there you go. The final answer would be 1 here. Okay. Pretty easy, right? You guys got this. Keep studying hard. If you definitely go through the lessons, if you definitely, you know, check out the videos for your class, you're going to ace your math class. You got this, all right? Um, like this video if it helped you. Subscribe to the channel if you want to hear more of my voice. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Um, and let me know in the comments what you thought. Love to hear from you guys. See you guys all in the next lesson. Keep studying hard. Have a great day. Bye-bye.